I have not made a video for many days but it's all right here I am let's talk about raft a distributed consensus algorithm I know it sounds heavy but uh, don't worry I'll explain it to you let's start with a problem I mean let's say you want to store any data let's say the price of potato today or whatever let's start with the simplest possible solution you go ahead and store that value in a single file on a single server but water floods your data center and takes your server down well this really happened to gcp by the way recently now all right you have lost your server so now you lose your data too now what do you do to protect yourself in these situations you spend more money and bring in new servers to store potato prices so even if one of them goes down others are there to serve you the potato price but this brings in more complexity see what if one server tells you the price is 12 the other tells you the price is 23 and there's yet another server which tells you the price is 10 who do you believe to manage inconsistencies like this you need to get every server or every node to agree on one state of the data or in other words get them in consensus and raft helps us to achieve this consensus let's break into this now the central element The source of truth in Raft is the log. The log is stored on each node and it records all the operations you want to do on the data. So let's say you want to update the data, add to the data, remove some parts of the data in a database, you record each operation in the log. And now if someone takes the log and reruns all the operations, they would come to the current state of our data. Now if our algorithm can get all the nodes to agree on this log it essentially makes them agree on the state of the data well we will come back to more details about the log let's talk about the cluster itself now let's say there are five nodes in the cluster uh, how will you know which one to talk to to store your data that's why each cluster has a leader node it is the node which you contact and it delegates the information to be added to the log to other nodes let's go ahead and understand how this leader is selected and then we will move ahead and understand how the leader manages the log information let's start by looking at the server state there is a leader and all other nodes are called the follower nodes now the leader keeps sending heartbeats to all other nodes periodically to say hey i am alive now if it dies if the leader dies a new leader must be chosen so if a follower nodes doesn't get the heartbeat from the leader for a time out period it becomes something called a candidate node and stands in an election you know like real life the follower nodes votes the candidates and democratically elects a new leader till the time the old node was a leader it was called a term now with the new leader selected a new term starts so if it was term number 1 before now it's term 2 Now think about this. Let's say the time out for a heartbeat after which a node will consider its leader dead is 100 milliseconds. Now after this time out suddenly all nodes becomes aware that the leader is dead and everyone becomes a candidate at once and they will just vote themselves and well nothing will happen. To avoid this the time out for each node is random so that all the nodes don't get the news of the death of the leader at once. Whoever gets it first maybe multiple nodes becomes the candidates. Now as everything is dependent on the log having a longer log would mean the data on a node is the freshest so a node would never vote a candidate node if the candidate node has a shorter log than itself this prevents from nodes with older data or stale data becoming leaders okay now that we are on the topic of the log let's finally talk about how the log is synced across the nodes see each entry in the log has an index and it also has the term number stored in it When a leader gets a request like a command to change the data or add something to the data it will do something like a two phase commit uh, we will see this how so first it takes that change and makes a log entry out of it and it gives it a proper index and a proper term index and then tells the other nodes that hey i have got a new log entry and this is the log entry now all the other nodes take the entry and append it to their logs now notice the language here the entry is being appended not being committed so it means that it is not finalized yet 
because no node knows that if the leader is able to reach the other nodes or not so maybe all the other nodes are down and only one follower node gets that data and it thinks that okay this is finalized and i'll finalize that data to my log but it actually hasn't been replicated to all the other nodes that will be a problem right so at this point the log entry is not committed or finalized it is just appended to the nodes log now the leader waits for responses from all the followers if they have appended the log entry if more than half the nodes return the responses that they have appended the log that means um, my data or my log entry is on enough nodes or replicated across enough nodes the leader goes ahead and commits the log finalizes it then tells the followers hey i have committed the log so you go ahead and commit it too and the followers take that and commit the entry and we complete our consensus process for the log now think of this scenario there are three followers in a cluster and one node goes out of operation for some reason it's all right the cluster continues to function with the remaining two followers and the logs are appended there but the fallen node comes back again after some time now you see the leader wants to append entry number 6 to the nodes but the node which just returned has only three entries so it has only entry number 1 2 and 3 it does not have entry number 4 it does not have entry number 5 so it is incorrect to append the log entry here because the log maintains all the operations in order to be done on the data so it cannot have some gaps or something like that right so think for a bit what do we do here the leader actually sends the index and the term id of the previous log entry to all the followers as well along with the uh, log entry that it just received right now now if the follower sees that it does not have the previous log entry it returns an error when the leader gets that error it now decrements the index of the entry it wants to send and sends it to the follower along with its previous entry like before and the process repeats again the follower checks if it has the previous entry if it does not it returns an error again this process repeats itself till the proper next entry is found all right this covers the overview about raft you saw how the system is able to keep a log consistent across uh, many nodes and if the log is consistent the operations done on the data are consistent and if we have the operations done on some piece of data we know what the final state of the data would be that's why you can build systems with highly consistent data with raft uh, that's why many distributed consistent databases like yoga byte or cockroach db depends on raft or variations of it one more thing before i end see i have explained everything in this video considering we are using raft on a database to store some arbitrary data because that's the most popular usage of raft Uh, but theoretically instead of the database it could be any finite state machine remember your college classes those finite state machines the finite state machine can take an operation and change its state and if all the nodes have the same fsm it would end up on the same state given an operation in the log so if we have operation 1 2 3 4 for all the nodes it would end up on the same state the finite state machine would end up on the same state which will make that state consistent across the cluster well that was it for today if you didn't understand some points i suggest you go look back on those parts and you know you can scribble those diagrams on some paper and understand the process and the steps better all right if you love this video make sure to share it among people it helps a lot with the reach leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this bye